Welcome to the Mission Minute here for the 1st of August 2016. Probably be a little longer than minute today, but it's a great story. I got an email from Sub-Saharan Africa, and I think I've redacted all the names, so I should be able to uh, tell you this great story. Two years ago, we met Unda at a remote village where we visited for the purpose of getting to know people, build relationships, and begin sharing the gospel. He eventually came to Christ and was the only believer we knew of there at that time. Unda has struggled for the past two years with some unknown prolonged illness. In spite of his declining health, Unda continued living out his new faith as best he knew how. He was later encouraged by a believing Tanzanian immigrant who came to start a small village business. Three weeks ago, Unda died. Because he was a follower of Jesus, his family refused to bury him. The Tanzanian believer, Evan, took sole responsibility to deal with the body and had a time of sharing the word with those who observed the burial. Two days after hearing of Unda's death, we were working and camping in a village about two to three hours north of our home. We sought God's guidance as to the timing of a visit with Unda's family. It's another four-hour trip on a terrible road. After talking with another believer who knew Unda and was instrumental in sharing the gospel with him, we felt led to make the trip. We left very early the next morning from our camp, carrying several believers with us, and arrived in the village by late morning. We were warmly received by Unda's family, and after visiting, we all went to the grave site. A group of about 30 to 40 Muslim men and women walked to the site where we gave thanks for Unda's life, shared a gospel presentation of the hope we have in Jesus Christ, and afterwards we met at the mother's house and presented her with some gifts and some words of encouragement. As we were preparing to leave, Evan, the Tanzanian believer, begged us to come by his home for just a few minutes. He is basically the only other believer in that village. He runs a small tea room which has been doing very well these past months. He took us into his house, sat us down, and shared with us that God had been teaching him from Scripture the importance of tithing. He then placed two 10-liter buckets in front of us, one filled with wild honey and the other with new cooking oil, and also gave us a live chicken. He said that God had blessed his business and he wanted to be obedient and give back a portion to the work of God. He said that the believers who had come that day were doing God's work and he wanted to give the tithe to God's people. What a humbling, humbling experience. We had a time of praying for Evan and his being a light in that remote village. Those prayers were given and received with tears. As we were leaving the house, we were called over to where four men were seated under a small grass shelter. They begged for prayer saying that they had decided to leave Islam and wanted to follow Jesus. They had not attended the funeral service, but had heard the gospel from Evan and wanted to declare to God's people their sincere desire to follow Christ. We all prayed with the men, leaving them in the care of Evan to disciple. It was a physically and mentally exhausting day, but what a sweet time we had with those in our truck as we traveled those many hours together, meeting with Unda's family and with Evan. May God grow his kingdom in that village.